I worked on his face some more, adding more layers to his hair, the top of his head, his eye, his nose, his cheek, which is that greenish sort of soft color, his lips and beard, added more contour and layers in there. So I found a wonderful color while I was gone. And it's just the one I was looking for. It's this beautiful deep red, it's a of course. Um, it's going to do just exactly what I want it to do. I've got this down pretty good. I'm going to go up here now onto the top of his skull where I said it's much pinker because he wore a cap all the time where, to shield his face, his head. So the top is quite pale. And then he has, but we have to get the skin underneath it. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of hit this a little bit with this pinky color. But then it's green here. It's quite green underneath. And it's even darker green right here. So I know what I'm doing here. I'm going to his hair isn't green, but the colors underneath are. So I'm going to skip over here to his forehead. I'm going to get all the white stuff kind of filled in. You know, the, the tooth of the paper. Okay, so once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch this here while I see it. This corner of his eye is quite green. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of put a touch of green there. And also this part right here. And I think this value and color is just perfect. So I'm going to lay that down. There's a little dab of it right there too. Although that could be a little bit dark. So I'll lighten that up a little bit. And I'll go back and work on this business here later. But I wanted to put that green in because I saw it right then and I didn't want to forget about it. So we've got the eyebrow. Too light. I'm going to make that go away because that was too light and use the darker color. With his gray eyebrows. So now it is time to do the sky. So this is all too dark. So I've got to come in with layers now to lighten this up. What I'm going to do is just start doing... Like I said earlier, I'm just barely, 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 barely touching the paper. Barely touching the paper. I want to get the value right. I'm going to come in and try and get uh, this blended, but I'm not making a sharp edge. I want really lost, soft edges. Except I may make this this right here quite quite sharp, but not yet. I'm not going to do it yet. Because his nose is so magnificent. So I want it to be soft right now. And I can control that. I'm sort of scumbling here, like you would do with a brush. And I'm doing it with this Grumbacher. 
And this is one of the original flat ones. I actually found this at a, these, these pointed ones at a garage sale. But these flat ones are the ones that I got for style. Grandpa that I got for my Christmas gift. So what I wanted to do is I need to warm it up. This is this is probably a closer color to the sky, but I'm going to add many layers to the sky because the skies are so much fun to do. Even though you think, oh, it's just there's not a cloud in the sky except near the horizon. What's what's there beautiful to have there? It just it's just this big. Well, I like to put many layers in uh, of mint, of di different colors. So you'll, I'll show you what I do. Now, this is too light to go up any further, but I'm going to go over here and work this side right now. Just kind of dragging it over this really bright cobalt blue. Trying to blend the edge of this skull in with the sky. I said I'm particular about getting it all the way to the edge, so I don't like to leave a halo. I have this tape down with just regular masking tape. I used blue tape for a while, quite a while, but it, it just alters the colors of everything. So if I had blue, real dark blue here, then it would make this color change for me. So I have switched to this uh, regular old painter's masking tape. Now this is looking value-wise a little better. But color-wise, it's still too much of a deep cobalt. But once I get this color, and this is too dark up here, so I'm going to use this Grumbacher up here to lighten it a little bit. And then I'm going to come over with, come over it with some other colors that are going to make it the correct color. I don't, if I had the correct color, I still wouldn't use it because I want it to have a, a lot of layers. I'm going to have all these transparent layers where you can see all the way down to the bottom. See, even now you can still see some of the cobalt. I'm not covering it up. sharp here so I'm going to just very gingerly feather this out and I need to check and make sure I've got his skull right I don't want to see it's a little rounded I need to flatten it out a little bit I need to flatten it out with a darker color Got a little bit of a hump on it. So now, in order to get from this darker, kind of cooler color, I want to get to this lighter, warmer sky. It's too deep here and too, it looks like nighttime sky instead of a daytime sky. And this was in, I believe, the morning. This was a morning sky, as I recall. So now... 
I'm going to just test some. I, I like to use the harder ones on this. I, I like to use the Sennelier's first, and then I'll come in with the harder Grumbachers. Like, this is a nice warm blue. So what I want to do, this is a Giro. And it's just hard enough that I can kind of scumble it over. And alter this color to make it warmer. And now down here, I'm going to actually use the edge, the, the tip, and start scumbling with the edge. To get this whole thing much lighter, though. But I'm not covering up the, the previous layer. I'm just adding this color to it. And that's very important to know because if you press too hard, all the stuff you did, you might as well have just added this first. And you're not going to get the luminous layers that we want. Here. Because we want the sky to be interesting, we don't want it just to be this big flat color. So I'm working this, and you can see that it's warming up. It still needs to be lighter down here. I'll get a lighter color. So I'm going to work my way up here and soften this whole thing with this Giro and warm it up. Okay. So we've lightened it up, all the way up. Now it's still uh, not light enough down here. So I'm going to tip my and start scumbling with the, uh, with the tip. And I'm going to scumble and then I'm going to soften it with the flat edge. And I'm going to scumble. Well, it's still not light enough. I think I'm going to get, I'm going to save that. I need to clean it off. So that it comes back to the color that it was. Okay. And this is what I mean about the Grumbachers. This is the Grumbacher. And they have just the most beautiful colors. I wish they still made them. But this is the perfect color for down here. at the bottom of the horizon, just over the mountains. You see how this accepts the color right over those other layers? I think it's so beautiful. And this is sort of a green, a blue-green color. I'll clean it off, you can see better. Sort of a blue-green color. But it's absolutely making this blue, dark blue, the correct color. This is why I love the Grumbachers. Because they behave on the top and the outer layers just exactly like I want them to. Whereas the Sennelier's would be too harsh. It would, it would um, too much of the pastel would come off for me.
So we're getting really close here to being done with the sky. For the moment, anyway. Done enough that I can get his hair in back here. And his eyebrows and his little bit of hair that's sticking up here. Make sure that the gradation is correct. It doesn't abruptly quit. So I'm squinting the whole time. You know, you all know that you're supposed to squint. Squint, squint, squint. Okay. I kind of like the mountains. I need to add a little bit down here. Just a ticket. It looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of the green too. Because of his hair. <clears throat> so we'll work on the green back here just a little bit. Too soft. work on his shirt a little bit because some of his hair comes down over that shirt too. Always working on the sharp edge of these chalks or pastels or not chalks, sorry. I can work on that later. But I want to get that in and that's not quite the right color blue so I'm going to come in and hit that with a little better blue. I can work on this later. I'm really trying to get this so I can come in and add his hair and finish his head. And I'm losing the light in my studio. This is all natural light except for one light behind the white umbrella. But it's getting to be late in the afternoon and I'm losing my light so I'll have to finish tomorrow. Okay, so this is actually quite dark back here. It's almost brown. It's not red though. And I think that's important to have that in there because it needs to uh, have the balance between the light and dark. In fact, there's a light, there's a dark spot up here too. Once again, a lot of green up here. A little green, green right there. Green there. Lots of green there. It'll come back in and pull it back, cover up the green a little bit, add some highlights. <clears throat> 